right, guys. My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to what is Anzac Day? This video was requested to us by five or six people over the last couple of days. Uh, unfortunately, we actually filmed about a week ago. That was the last time we filmed. We try and do all of our videos at one time during the week. That way we can spend the rest of the week with our families. So these uh, suggestions weren't given to us until obviously today so we are one day late our time i think i guess right, it would be so two, days two days late, late your time yeah. uh, or with, was it yesterday for them anzac day was the 25th okay. or the the so technically it would be today for us yesterday for them okay so we're only 24 hours late. right so uh we did have a post scheduled out um in remembrance of anzac day uh, but we wanted to go ahead and react to this video just because we did have so many suggestions in our Discord and in our comment section, we had even more. Uh, so yeah, I had honestly no idea what Anzac Day was. I still don't know. Until we started, started getting uh, these recommendations and everything. And I did a little bit of Google searching and everything and, and learned a little bit behind it, but I didn't want to go too far into it. I knew we were going to watch right. this video. so. Guys, before we hop in, if you would go ahead and give us a thumbs up, it truly helps us out in getting these videos out to more people. Also, if you would go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon, that way you guys can stay informed on our future videos. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more and get an exclusive YouTube short exclusive, shout out, exclusive. that's right. Click that join button down below. So let's hop in and learn about Anzac Day. All right, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Click view mini clips. I was like, this is really artistic. So I would like to point out that one thing that I saw on Google, and I'm sure people, I, I haven't read the comments in this posted video, but it relates, is it's not Happy Anzac Day. You're not necessarily celebrating Anzac Day. It's more it's, of a remembrance. Right, exactly. Okay, so it's the same as... 9-11. Um, well, yeah, 9-11 or uh, what's it called? Um, Memorial Day. Exactly. Because I've always, like on Facebook, people are like, Happy Memorial Day. I'm like, you do realize the concept but behind Memorial Day is in remembrance of the people that sacrificed everything. Exactly. That they were willing to lay down their lives for everything. So it's not happy... It's just praise God that we have Memorial Day because the men and women that laid down their arm, their their lives for everything that we have today during World War II, World War One, every war before that, and every war to come. Right. It's appreciated from people like me that never served. Exactly. And as opposed to saying happy Anzac Day or celebrating Anzac Day. I read that you say, less we shall remember, for, or okay. for, less we shall forget. Okay. Yeah, so. Because I saw, because we did a, a post, and, and then, that's one and thing I saw. And said, less we shall and forget. And he posted that. I don't want to take any credit on that, um, because I didn't even know what it was. I still don't know what it is. Um, all I know, based off of our searching stuff before we do this, is it had something to do with a world war. Yeah. Beyond that. I'm 100% ignorant, and I apologize for my ignorance, but this is my opportunity to learn. Exactly. Mine too. Every year in Australia, we commemorate a very important day in Australian history known as Anzac Day. At this time of the year, you might sometimes bake Anzac biscuits or stand in silence to reflect and remember Anzac soldiers. We've been asked to make Anzac biscuits. But do you know who... Okay, so... Obviously, I might understand why there's Anzac biscuits based on the rest of this, so I'm going to leave it down in the bottom. Is there, like, a specific reason for the actual biscuits themselves? They might say it, and but there's a there's a video asking us to make Anzac biscuits. or video? Yeah. yeah. So, like... Well, the video is not asking us, but somebody suggested a video on how to make them. Okay, I'm so, down for that. I'm yeah. show our respect. 
Because as far as I'm aware, we've always been an ally. I mean, yeah, as long yeah. as... So I'm definitely willing to do something to honor your soldiers. Who the Anzacs were and why it is important that we commemorate this day? That's what it is, of course. In 1914, the world was in turmoil at the outbreak of World War I. Though Australia and New Zealand were considered young nations, both of these countries came together to help their British allies in the war. Okay. Wow, World War I, okay. These soldiers were called ANZACs, which stands for Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. Cool. On the 25th of April 1915, the ANZACs travelled to a place called the Gallipoli Peninsula to capture the Turkish capital of Istanbul, known then as Constantinople. However, they were met by a fierce defence from Ottoman Turkish soldiers. What they had hoped to be a quick campaign turned out to be eight months of brutal warfare. Wow. Eight months after their arrival, the Anzacs evacuated from Gallipoli, but not before many soldiers had given their life or suffered great injuries. In fact, over 10,000 Anzacs died at the fierce hand of the war at Gallipoli. That's insane, in eight months. Upon their return, Australia has commemorated Anzac Day since the 25th of April 1916, one year after the Anzacs first arrived at Gallipoli. There are many symbols and emblems that you might recognise on Anzac Day. Let's have a look at a few of them. Yum, an Anzac biscuit. It can be fun to help bake these it looks and delicious. even more fun to eat around Anzac Day. But it's a bit funny to remember Anzac Day by eating a biscuit, isn't right? it? That's what yeah. my thought Where'd process from? was. The Anzac biscuit we have today is similar to a type of food many of the Anzac soldiers carried with them oh. because they didn't have fridges or Genius. shops to get food I from. See, that's what I was thinking is it, it has, because it, it I, looks like something old fashioned. So I'm going to admit, I'm kind of impressed by this already. So my great grandfather fought in World War One. I. I have multiple family members that fought in the first war. But all honesty, here in this country, we don't ever talk about World War yeah, it's all. all about World War Two. Uh, it's all, and of course, uh, when we fought the British, it yeah. became our own country, uh, which was a really old war. So it's kind of funny that we we jumped to that one. But for some reason, here in this country, like my grandfather, I actually so the big thing that happened in World War One was that's when they really started developing trenches, mm -hmm. like digging out trenches and fighting from there. So my grandfather actually was a shotgunner. So he would run, jump. He wasn't an intelligent guy, I promise you that. So that's why he had the job to run and go into trenches and yeah. try to kill people. He survived, which blows my mind. Um, my mom even pretty much has said that he's kind of a he was a special individual, uh, to say the least. He shot his own foot off. No, with that trench with, shotgun, with the same gun, with the same gun after hmm. the war. So he fought his war all the way through. But he shot and his then own foot shot off. His foot off. And my grandfather inherited it. And when my grandfather passed, I inherited it. So yeah. I still have a World War One trench shotgun. And so I'm just impressed that y'all actually stand by this and do something about it. We have all but forgotten about it. Right. Um, now, one thing, if you ever come to the US and you're ever in the Midwest, St. Louis, they're uh, by the Golden by the Golden Arch. That's McDonald's. <laughs> by the Arch, there is a World War One museum there, and it is phenomenal. And it has everything that was, whether it was part of the bad guys or the good guys. It literally has all the weapons, the tanks, all that kind of stuff. Really? If you're there and you appreciate World War One, y'all would appreciate that museum. It covers every country. Wow. Okay. Sorry. The soldiers needed to eat food that would not go bad over time. Many carried the first Anzac biscuits, which were a substitute for bread. Though they can be a tasty treat, they also help us remember some of the struggles Anzac soldiers went That's through. That's so awesome. I respect yeah. them so much. Another symbol you might recognize are flowers, such as red poppies or rosemary flowers. It's a beautiful combination. It is. 
I didn't know Red they had poppies flowers were on famously Rosemary. found yeah. growing in some of the most brutal locations of World War I, such as northern France and Belgium, after the war had ended. Rosemary flowers symbolize memory and were found scattered throughout the peninsula at Gallipoli. Because these flowers are very symbolic, they are used as a way for us to remember those fallen by war. They can often be seen being laid down in remembrance of fallen soldiers Lest we forget. during days such as Anzac Day. The original Anzac Day was significant because not only was it a day to remember and pay respects to the families and friends of those that had died in war, it also played a major... Sorry, we're gonna, I'll back it up a little bit so we can hear the whole thing. But so I've been seeing a lot of TikTok videos where they color old video or mm -hmm. pictures like this. I would love to see this in color just so I can see like all the color behind it. Like it shows you how like black and white doesn't give you an idea of how tough of a situation is. Right. When you see it in color. Well, actually, the, the black and white makes me feel like it was tougher. <laughs> I think that if you see the color and you see because it lets you see the color on their skin, whether right. it's white or whether it's dirty or stressed out or their clothes. It lets you see all those things. And especially a picture like this one. Right. I really would love to see it. And this is just amazing. Like just because even we as a country had a hard time accepting a lot of soldiers from certain battles and stuff like that and not showing our respect like we should have. Here you can see the people are just standing out there showing their love and passion for, for their soldiers. It's so amazing. Yeah. Sorry for pausing it. I'm not trying, and I'm not trying to steal anything from the situation. I'm just trying to show, tell y'all some of my uh, personal uh, experience through my family. Right. It has nothing to do with taking away. I'm, I apologize if you feel that way. To the families and friends of those that had died in war, it also played a major part in forming an Australian identity of courage and mateship that is still important today. Whilst the Anzac legend lives on, soldiers from Australia have defended our country in other wars since World War I. This means that when we commemorate Anzac Day, we remember those that have given their lives in service of our country on other occasions as well. There are many ways Anzac Day is commemorated today. Often people will rise for a dawn service. These services wow. are held yeah. at dawn each year because this was the same time Anzac soldiers originally arrived like on Gallipoli shores. Well, and so a As lot a, of the like a nation. So I scrolled through some of the comments in this video um, earlier, and a lot of the comments said that that the dawn service is like serious. Really? So like it's it's. It is very well attended. I couldn't compare this to anything here outside of maybe the uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier when they uh, change out the guard. I don't even know about that. Oh, you, it's amazing. It's in Washington, D.C., just a short synopsis. There's a guard that guard. So the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is to represent all the soldiers that died in action or went missing that in action. That couldn't be identified. That couldn't be identified. So they picked out one soldier from each of the major events, I believe, post-World War II, I believe. And then uh, ever since then, they've added from every conflict that we've been in another body of that nobody could ever recognize. They include it in there. But it represents all the soldiers, and it's a huge deal. Like, the, they don't talk. They march back and forth, rain, snow, tornado, hurricane, whatever the situation is, they're always there. Yeah, and then it's a very cool thing to go witness the changing of, and they they, they don't call them soldiers; they're sentinels, mm -hmm. the people that march in front because they move like a sentinel. Right, super cool. But that's the only thing I could compare to this. But I feel like they're just so different. Yeah, no, I could, I can't think of anything to and compare I, this I to. Resp and I'm not like one of those people that are like, let's go take down blah blah blah. You know, we're not right. those Kung Ho. Like, let's go crazy type people because there are those kind of people in our country that are like, we need to give more money to the military and we're already the highest paid military in the world. I mean, there there is one place I would enjoy going to right now to help. But Yeah, I, and I'm, I'm with you. If I didn't have a family, we'd be there together. Yeah. But I think this is absolutely amazing. This really warms my heart that they still care a hundred plus years yeah. ago. No, I this completely agree. Yeah. 
What are some of the other ways we remember those in our past and present who have committed themselves to the service of our country on Anzac Day? I guess I could have waited. Yeah, well, you could have waited. It is what it is. Man. That was a great video, though, and honestly, I mean, truly, it is awesome to know that, like that said, over a hundred years later, you guys are still waking up at dawn, or before dawn, to be at these types of events at dawn, and to be able to uh, memorialize and uh, commemorate this this day. Because y'all are so, and I, I'm not saying like as a whole, like the way I look at it, I'm very disconnected from my great grandfather. I never met the guy. Yeah. He was dead well before I was alive. Um, I connected really well with my grandfather, which fought in World War II. He actually got shot twice in World War II. In the foot? No, he got shot in the head behind mm. his ear. No. And I believe he got shot in the chest somewhere. But both times he went back to fight. Yeah. Uh, or I don't even know if they gave, I, I don't think guys really cared at that time right they just felt like they had to be part of the group yeah like it was just so important not to be because me i'd be like oh i'm shot i gotta go home <laughs> i tripped on a stick my toe hurts can i go <laughs> because i'm sorry like i have patriotism but hey, I'm hey not, coach like, i broke my fingernail <laughs> see the can basketball you, hit it hard can you pull me out of the game yeah but no like it's just a, it just blows my mind that y'all are Two generations, truly, maybe even three, can, depending on your age, disconnected from this group of people, but y'all still show the so respect. much respect and love and admiration and all these different things for the people that did this. And that's and super that's awesome. patriotic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, you know, it's funny that we're considered the U.S. Right. Or like we're patriotic because a lot of people are like, well, we're the best country. The pa- the- the the patriots that are shown on on TV of America, oh yeah, different kind of patriots. They're extremists. Yeah, those aren't patriots. Those are very different types. <laughs> those of are people. extremists. I I would say I'm patriotic. I love I love my country and and you know I I I'm very proud of my country. I think that to an extent our country likes to stand up the little guys. To an extent, right. there's a lot more that I think our country could do. Uh, that we aren't doing, and there's a lot of things that we are doing that we don't need to do. A hundred percent. That's very um, well put. But I mean, we have nothing like this, and well, we do. Nine eleven. We have nine eleven, but that's that's different. You know, that's a day. Right. That's what happened to us, as right. opposed to us helping people out. But we also have uh, things like. Um, uh, I just went blank. Uh, Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Again, it happened to us, and that's when we entered World War II. Um, but there's a few. I'm sure there's a few things that we do uh, that we just can't think of. That I just can't think of. But this is super spot. special, honestly. Yeah, I mean, this is awesome. The fact that it has been over a hundred years and it's it's still being uh, commemorated as if it was as as if it was last year or ten years ago or yeah. even. World War II, because we still commemorate things from World War II, but it's nothing like this. Yeah. So. And that's, I mean, 10,000 10, soldiers lost in, in eight months, give or take from what he said. Um, I mean, that's that's a huge deal. You know, that's yeah. more people than than we lost in Afghanistan in the entire time we yeah. were there. Uh, it's it's like currently in, in Russia, or in uh Ukraine right now with Russia, supposedly like 10,000 Russian soldiers. Have, that's have what the crazy told. part that blows my and mind. Russia is a horror. They are in, bad at war. That's in two months. They've they've had 10,000 soldiers. Die. They are awful at war. Well, to be fair, they're, and I am not sticking up for Russia whatsoever. Hell no. Whatsoever. Hell no. If I, and this And might, if that offends anybody, sorry. Actually, no. Good. Yeah, no. If you're, if you're for if that. If you're for the, the shit that's going on in, in Ukraine massacres. right now then then this off. And with their people uh, that are. But it, it is shitty that some of these kids in the Russian government or the Russian army were sent over there thinking that they were going over there to train. 
Exactly. They had yeah, no idea all, what they were going yes. into, and that's why a lot of them did die and have died because they didn't know that they were going to get shot at. Right. You know? Uh, but, I mean, again, this might sound like a cop-out or, or the sissy way of saying we're not going, but honestly, if I didn't have a three-year-old daughter and it was just me and my daughter, I would be over there. There's, so if it was just you and your daughter? I said if it was just me and not just me and my daughter. Oh, okay, okay. Looking. Yeah, no, if it wasn't for family, my, yeah, or my I'm not going to leave my, my daughter alone yeah. behind. but Because I'm uh, not for little the little guy getting yeah, picked on. I, I'm not in into the, bullying. In the wimpy, like, if you enter, I'm going to use the nuclear bomb. Right. Like, how stupid. Anyways, anyways, guys, we went on a huge tangent that has yeah. nothing to do with this. Not because this with is a day we to remember. This is a day... That should always be remembered. Yeah. And should be taught to people beyond because World War One was a conflict of the entire world. Right. So we need to learn and I'm talking about the United States. I don't know about y'all. I don't know what y'all learn. I don't know what other countries learn. But I definitely know that the world to the Ameri- to um, the United States is literally the United States. Yeah. I mean we might learn a little bit of Mexico, a little bit of Canada. But that's only because there were conflicts that we had in Mexico and in Canada. Right. So it, it it's truly, you know, it's just a, a an example of where our education system is missing out. Yeah. But anyways, guys, if there's more information that we're missing out on, let us know down in the comments. We are definitely going to read a lot of the comments on this one. Uh, we definitely want to learn more about this. And it means a lot to us that if you enjoyed this video, Please hit that like button. Um, and if you want to see our future videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you do want to support us directly, hit the join button. And with that being said, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out. Mm-hmm.